It's got to be one of the most scenic spots in the world and no doubt it's the best spot to free dive in the world. So that's got to be the biggest crayfish you've ever got. G'day guys, we've had a pretty drastic change in location and scenery since you've last seen us. Uh, where are we, Fran? So we flew across the Atlantic Ocean mm -hmm. and we're here in the Bahamas catching up with two good friends, yeah. Riley and Elena from Sailor Vagabond. Uh, and you guys that have been watching the channel for a while may remember that we caught up with the guys in Australia and we just had the best time ever. So we took the crew out on our boat, the Salty Dingo over there and like, just lucked out with the weather and probably captured some of the coolest footage we've ever done. So we're gonna roll some of those clips. And now we're flying over to the Bahamas to catch up with them on board their boat. It's gonna be pretty cool, hey? It's a pretty good deal. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, we're gonna do some free diving, mm -hmm. swim fishing, living off the grid and lots of sailing. Oh, it's gonna be awesome guys, but it's probably a good time before we get into the action We just wanted to say a massive thank you to you guys watching the channel and that have supported it Basically you doing that has allowed us to be here and really be living our dream So it is pretty surreal for us and we just wanted to say we don't take it for granted. Yeah, and um, Yeah, we're living our dream So we want to share it all with you guys through the episode and let's all live it together. So thanks a lot guys yeah, Thank you and um, all right, let's get into the action All right, about to go for first dive in the Bahamas just to test these new fins out. I'm going to be doing some deeper free diving over the next few days and um, just wanted to see how these things get me through the water. These should be available on our website now, so if you do want a pair of these, go check them out. Let's go! Alright guys, we're about to arrive at a pretty special spot here. Now I've seen photos and videos of this spot for a number of years, so it's been up the top of my bucket list for a while. And uh, Riley actually described it, if God himself created a place for free diving, this would be it. It's Dean's Blue Hole in the Bahamas. And literally right off the sandy beach, you can take a step and then it drops vertically down over 200 meters deep. That's gonna be perfect for free diving. The other interesting thing, Fran and I have both just recovered from COVID uh, and this is gonna be the first time we get back in the water. So we're really keen to see whether it affected our lungs, affected our breath hold and how we feel going down to some deeper dives. I know Riley's really keen to, to push the limits today. So hopefully we can do some deeper dives and um, of course take you guys down into the depths with us, the depths of the blue hole. <laughs> 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 Pretty surreal to actually be here. We've seen lots of photos and videos, but now it's like a pinch yourself moment that we're actually here about to dive uh, Dean's Blue Hole. It's amazing, eh? Yeah. There, onto that platform, and then down, 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 down. Ready? Let's go. So, the first 
first half is always just a bit of a warm up, normally take a couple of warm ups. What I'm trying to do, is something that happens to all free divers when they get to a certain depth, you reach your residual volume, and that means you can't equalize anymore. So that's what will make you stop. You won't be able to pop your ears. And I'm just trying a new technique. Um, so I'm gonna practice that a little bit, and hopefully that can get me down even deeper. And uh, that technique, I've learned it all from Adam Stern's freediving courses. If you'd like to check it out, I'll put a link in the bio. It's super, super helpful. All right, let's get back in there. down there like there's a bit of tightness on my chest but I'm not sure if that's because of COVID I don't think it is I, I think it's more just down at that depth so I think it was a 40 meter dive that one and I um yeah I don't think COVID's affected our lungs at all in that sense so that felt quite nice <laughs> I'm feeling pretty comfortable underwater, but the lungs, it's like when you're down there, it's like they're just being compressed so much. So to give you guys an idea, when you're at 10 meters, your lungs are compacted to a half the size. When you're at 20 meters, a third of the size. 30 meters, a quarter of the size. So um, yeah, down there, it gets a little bit squishy. <laughs> Riley's just come up from a deep dive here. It's awesome seeing him um, do some deeper stuff to see how deep he gets. Check out the Sailing La Vagabond channel. They're of course filming all this and it's gonna be on there. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> dive, mate. Awesome! Woo. How was that? It was pretty good. I felt comfortable? Yeah. Do you think COVID's affected your lungs to free dive? Oh, can't tell because I dive without a watch or... Yeah. But it feels pretty comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Oh, that was really, really cool. So this has got to be the best place to free dive in the world. I feel pretty fortunate that we just got the chance to do it. And free diving for me, I'm sure it's the same for a lot of other people out there. It's not so much about the depth on your watch or what you get to. It's more about the feeling of doing it. Like the same reason a lot of people might meditate or, or do yoga or go for a surf. Like it's a really, really uh, nice feeling. And um, the whole concern I had was with COVID and my lungs, whether I would still get that enjoyment. And I think the answer to that is yes. I felt really nice down there. I felt really comfortable. So that's good. And um, now, so when we go spearfishing uh, in a couple of days, I'm pretty confident we'll be able to get down and um, feel comfortable in the water and, and get some nice fish as well. So would you say, Fran, did COVID affect your lungs at all in summary? Yeah. It did? <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't dive to 50 meters anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. That's Everyone okay. needs a bit of an excuse why they can't <laughs> dive deeper. <That's> right. <laughs> We're going to sail to a different island and um, yeah Riley and Lane are going to show us the ropes on board which is very exciting because obviously Fran and I um, fantasize about owning a catamaran like that so we'll um, yeah. we'll get the layout of it all the Savo. Yeah. Awesome. Of course you guys are coming along for the ride so I hope you're enjoying the episode and we'll um, we'll see you the Savo. Yeah. Let's do it.
So we've woken up this morning. Unfortunately, the wind is absolutely howling, as you guys can see, which means any plans of changing island, moving spot has been put on hold for a couple of days. But I'm not too disappointed because right on our doorstep here is that blue hole we dove yesterday. So today, we're gonna get back to that blue hole and have another crack and um, see if we can push some new depth. So it's gonna be awesome. Thanks, Brad. That's awesome. Thanks for spotting me. How did you go? That was the deepest dive I've ever done. It was down to 51.6 meters, so wow. that smashed my previous best. Great, man. That nah, was awesome. What a place to do it, eh? Yeah, that's Thanks, mate. Right, the guys are just going to show us a cave that used to be a pretty popular hangout for the pirates back in the day. Um, so we're going to go check it out, see if there's any leftover booty. Oh, that's cool. It's a bit spooky, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very much so. Bones. It is, isn't it? Okay, okay. Yeah. Wow. So the locals must be doing a bit of excavation here and looking for fossils and that sort of stuff. And they put it through this sieve and see what they could find. They've actually left behind a couple. I'm sure they won't mind me touching them if they've left it here. They can't be too important, but these are, are bones. Could be like a, a bird bone, a bat bone, or something like that. A few bits of metal, glass. You can see why this would have been such a popular hangout for the pirates back in the day. It's just the perfect shelter, perfect place to come and bury some treasure, perhaps. It's pretty cool when you think about that. Oh, there's a whole nother big section down here. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Go have a look over that side. There's, even more. there's, water. there's water down there. Oh, is there? Oh, cool. This would be a good spot for hide and seek. Alright, in all the pirate movies I've watched, there's always some really cool stuff like treasure and that buried in the hardest possible spots at the back of the cave. So, there's a pretty tight section here, I'm going to squeeze through and, and see what we can find. Oh wow. Look at that, that is amazing. There's a beautiful carving there of a mother and a young baby. Wow. So hidden behind this old, almost haunted looking church, there's a little spot called the Shrimp Hole. Um, apparently they're pretty interesting, so we're gonna go have a look and, and um, see what we can see down there. All right, Fran, so what do you know about the Shrimp Hole? 
So they call it red Cuban cave shrimps. Mm -hmm. And they're red. Yeah. <laughs> they like live in and, caves. Yeah, they live in caves. <laughs> Uh, the Cuban, <laughs> they are an endangered species, but they're not endemic. I think they found through all Central America. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously yeah. we haven't seen these little buggers before because they are not found in Australia. Yeah. So let's go check them out, hey? Yeah. That's so cool. All right, we've heard that there's some really great fishing grounds around here, but a little bit further offshore. So we're gonna go for a look now to see if we can hire a speedboat that can get us out there. Uh, of course, Riley and Elena love spear fishing, love free diving as well. So we're really looking forward to, to doing some diving with them. And there's all sorts of new species in this part of the world that we've never seen. So yeah, fingers crossed we can get a hold of a boat and um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Holy moly, and what are you targeting with this? Wahoo. Wahoo yeah. and tuna. Actually, and we can, we've caught tuna with that size before. Really? Yeah. So that little fella caught a 92 pound wahoo. Yeah. Mate, that is amazing. He's got a few battle wounds from the... <laughs> yeah. From it. yeah. <laughs> we've got lucky. It just met the most interesting father and son combination on the island. These guys build absolutely everything from their own fishing lures all the way up to their own boats. They're gonna let us borrow one and point us in the right direction for some fishing grounds. So join us next week as we head out in the boat and experience the best that the Bahamas has got to offer. Mm -hmm.